Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. This is where we stayed. I can't remember the name. Oh, there it is. The Warung Senaru, but I'll write that here. I wrote it on the last video, the end of the last video. We stayed here in 2022, really nice place. That's why I came back here. Today we're heading for the ferry to Sambawa. We won't catch the ferry today, we'll just head. Now there's two ways we could go. One follows the coast on a really nice road, but then there's another one that goes down past the volcano through the national park, which I'm guessing will be more roads like I did yesterday. You'll have to go back and watch the last video. So I'm gonna go the hard way. Um, it's only an extra half an hour or so on Google Maps. And it's a fairly easy day today, two hours Google Maps. So let's get on the road and do it. Yeah guys, that place is really nice. About maybe $15 US, $12, $13 US actually a night. Really nice, good breakfast. Delicious food in the evenings that you pay for, the breakfast was free. But yeah, there's accommodation all along here. I got a bit, I just put Desa Anjar into Google Maps yesterday and that took me a bit of a roundabout way, but I went back and checked my old videos. And I found the name of this place. Well, I turned the camera off for about two seconds. But look at this. I really hope the GoPro's got this, guys, because this is just stunning. And we just turned off the coast road. So I think the next two hours is going to be... This is going to be the best of it. <laughs> it's going to be a... a, a well, you know, if, if there's no riding like yesterday, like that hard stuff yesterday in the last video, I won't be upset, but if there is some of that, bring it on. So I've just stopped for a coffee. These girls want to do a TikTok, but the direction's pretty full on. One girl's ordering the other one around. Now we're going to be doing a TikTok. In front of me here's the volcano, I think. It's somewhere amongst all this lot of mountains anyway, and apparently, and I've just been told this, I haven't Googled or anything, but apparently you walk, you hike up there in the, in the night, you get to a kind of base camp and you stay in a tent for a few hours, and then you, um, they wake you up, and you hike actually up to the crater to watch the sunset from the crater, uh, sunrise, sunset, sunrise from the crater. And um, I'm told you're walking in, in pitch darkness just with a, a headlamp. You're hiking along the rim of the crater and it's maybe four or five feet wide. And I'm told people fall off there quite regularly, but I don't know whether that's just rumor or if it's true, because you'd think we'd hear about it a bit more in the Western media if it was somewhere people were dying a lot, but the girls on the Bali Lombok ferry the other day, they seemed quite adamant that that was the case. Just out on the hard road, because there's these roadworks all the way along, beautiful brand new bitumen in a lot of places, and where there's not bitumen they're doing this work. So they must be getting this ready for the tourists, because that, I'm pretty sure that is the volcano right there guys. So, um, I put the hard way in Google Maps, but she's automatically taking me the easy way. And um, I saw the coast here, so I checked, double checked to make sure I was going the way I wanted to go. And what a coincidence, because it's half a kilometre up the road here that the turn off is, so I checked it right at the right time. Yeah, Google Maps has done that to me a few times. Like in. Um, Georgetown, Malaysia, when I was trying to go over that big, big long bridge. She kept taking me over the easy bridge, if you remember. Now let's just go over here and double check that she's taking me the right way again. Yes, now we're on the right road. And it's just... How lucky was that, that I decided to check half a kilometre from where the turn-off is. So if 
I checked it in maybe half an hour I'd be way up the coast road which isn't a bad thing that's going to be a beautiful trip as well but this road takes you through the middle of the of the um, National Park you've got the volcano on this side all the other mountains on this side so yeah I was and I was kind of hoping we might get a bit of riding like yesterday water crossings and things but this looks like a pretty nice road so far and you can see here this road's pretty new two years ago when I was here a year and a half whenever it was here yeah, this, this was a terrible road that's why I didn't hitchhike it I wasn't sure if I'd actually make it <laughs> just really picked the right track the right route this is just beautiful, nice windy road, sitting on about 50 or 60 kilometres, no traffic, it would have been all trucks the other way. Amazing guys, a few hairpin bends like this one, but nothing, and a lot worse in India. And if anyone paid to hike the volcano today, they would have wasted their money because it's inside a cloud. Look at that. Really low cloud base, unless we're high, but I don't think so because in places I can see the coast just there. Oh, I'm so glad I came this way, guys. Yeah, and this town's got a lot of um, advertising for the volcano trek, so this is, that is it there, covered in cloud. Everything's so green on the edge. Volcanic soil must be really fertile. While I'm riding through some of the most beautiful jungle country in the world, I want to make it clear how thankful I am to Janet. Lately she's been getting a bit... This was supposed to be seven months. Now it's nearly, well, it's nearly two years. And she's been very, very tolerant. She knows this is what makes me happy, but yeah, the last few phone calls, or the last couple of months actually, she's been going, you know, when's this going to end? I don't ever want it to end, but it has to end sometime, I guess. But yeah, I just want everyone to know how grateful I am that she's let me, allowed me to do this, as not many wives would. This is either a very rich person's house or a beautiful hotel, but look guys, amazing. Imagine living amongst this in something like that. Incredible. Or is it an art gallery or a museum or something? Let's stop here and have a quick look. Unbelievable. Ah. It's a restaurant. Beautiful, and an amphitheatre, they must have bands and things there at times. This with western eyes, I look up there and I think, oh how beautiful is that, but someone has to live in that little shack. It's not so beautiful to them I suppose, but look, I'm so glad I came this way. There's a um, pedestrian crossing in the middle of the track. I figured this must be worth a look. So, uh, angry monkeys, but they don't seem too angry. They're not attacking anyone or anything, but I don't want to get in everyone's Instagram, so. And this is what we're looking at. Look at this guy. And they're feeding the monkeys. That's what's keeping them so happy, except that's actually what's making them angry because they expect everyone to feed them. Incredible. Everyone here doing their Instagrams and TikToks. <laughs> and we're going to get a bit further. Look at this, guys. Unbelievable. I'm so lucky getting to live this life. I don't think as many people travel this way because it's the other side of the volcano was just gorgeous roads. Perfect. And this is a bit different. This isn't a bad road. 
having a lot of fun guys but as you can see it's not that beautiful brand new road that I was riding on earlier I've caught the ferry here before so once I get there I'll know where I am but I did it in the middle of the night then it was supposed to be in the afternoon but there was some big festival on and every village we went through was blocked with kids marching and things so yeah what was meant to be a quick two, two and a half hour trip across Lombok ended up being about 10 hours <laughs> that was a big day so That's this is the main road it's maybe an hour and a half back that way to Madaram but we went around the top instead of just cutting straight across the island we went around the top uh, we would have been here yesterday otherwise well the ferries leave every 35 minutes cost about five dollars US it's only lunchtime, but I'm in no hurry, guys. I'm going to find a hotel. Have a lazy afternoon, maybe have a bit of a look around here. And we'll jump on the ferry in the morning. Now we're going to find an Alpha Mart or an Indo Marit and um, sit down and get online, find a hotel. There'll be a few around here. It's a port town, but I haven't seen any. I've probably driven past about five. This is where we ended up. There she is parked in the garden. Gosh, we um we passed the, we went to a lot of different hotels and they all wanted uh, sixty or seventy dollars a night. I wasn't paying that. This one was about now that's Australian dollars, so maybe forty or fifty US. This one here was about twenty US. It's all right. Nice and comfy, good food. Oh, and I ordered um, rundung for lunch and she said, oh, sorry, sir, we need four hours to cook the rundung. So I'm having freshly cooked beef rundung for dinner. I'm excited. Right now, I'm going to have swim number two. I've already had one since I've been here. Oh, what a way to end the day. You know, I've been... Since I've had this channel, I haven't been doing much swimming, but that swim at the Lost Creator House... I enjoyed it so much that I've been in the water every hotel we've had since. So, yes, we've got a lot to thank Lost Creator House for, but I've got plenty of footage to make a video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that Mad Dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. May as well hit that bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments, so leave a comment. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this video everywhere you can. We'll see you in the next one.